Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I'm finally starting to get reorganized. I actually made a path down in my workshop so I can get to my computer, and right now I'm running the RSP DX SDR from SDR Play, and I'm running the latest version of SDR Uno. It is about six... 25 in the morning here in Clearwater, Florida. This is the 31 meter band, and you can see there's lots of stations. Um, shortwave is not dead by any means, and it, it, it a reception, of course, varies from day to day and hour to hour, so you, you never know how things are going to be, but apparently, right now, things are pretty good. Uh, I've got a lot of signals here. I can load in plug in Fran which is a database of stations. I can load a file which I need to get this upgraded. It's kind of old but I don't know how to upgrade this properly. I do have one of my subscribers that does update this for me uh, and takes out all the duplications. Otherwise, it's a giant mess if you don't take out all the duplications. Now, you lose stations, of course, if you take out the duplications, but that's okay with me. Uh, you don't lose them as far as reception, just lose them as far as identification. So we're gonna open this up. And of course, when you're zoomed out, everything's cluttered, so you have to zoom in. I'll do right now. Yeah, it's not too bad. So, theoretically, I am listening to KNLS, which I'm not familiar with that at all. Huh. I'm sorry, I haven't ever heard of that. But it's booming in, or if that's what it is. Now, over here at 9570, which is very familiar, is one of the China radio frequencies, but I don't see anything there. Now, usually if I'm gonna get China radio, I'm going to get it early in the morning about this time. Um, see what else here looks pretty big. This one right here. Let's move over there. And this says, this could be radio Taiwan or Japan International. Let's unmute. Does sound like an Oriental voice, what I can hear. Now, I, I don't know if you can hear it because I'm still using my old lapel microphone and it works good for me because it's right next to my voice, but it doesn't pick up audio from the ambient in the room as well. So let's, uh, let's get rid of, uh, let's unload the plug-in because really there we go. Here he fills up the screen. Now we can zoom back out. Just kind of look around the band here. It's an interesting signal here. See what that is. Turn the audio back on. Yeah, that's where I was before. Uh, let's try this one over here. 9700. That sounds oriental. I might be a little off frequency. 
zoom in. Yeah, pretty close. I actually, let me close this right here. I would, make me mute. <laughs> what I would like is another window that has the information like from Fran, from a database of stations, uh, not have it plastered in my screen where it's showing the uh, spectrum and waterfall. Um, I don't know if there is a plug-in like that for SDR Uno. I know, let me just try something else. Let me close this down. I'm just kind of just trying things, trying to get back in the groove. I haven't been in my work, on my um, workshop slash shack for quite a while. So let's run this right here. I don't know if this is the latest version. May not be. This is SDR console and it has what I'm talking about. So down here is the, uh, let's start the RSPDX. Down here, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Um, down here is the database. So that's what I want. I don't want it cluttering up the, um, the screen up here. Now it can, boy, I'm, I'm really uh, at a loss here because I haven't used these programs in so long. It can track the frequency you're on. So let's go to, that's um, 1090, which is, uh, I think, air traffic or something. So let's go way down here. Go down, way down. Good, 10 megahertz here if we can hear WWV. Barely. So yeah, there it is, it's tracking. And it says 10 megahertz WWV and, and Colorado and in Hawaii. So I, I kind of like this program um, from the standpoint that it has the layout like I like. I don't like you're having to use Fran and it covers everything and plus you got to zoom in so that it's not on all the signals or station names are on top of each other. So I like this better. Now, uh, let's adjust this a little bit. Uh, it's kind of saturated there. And let's, I like these options. So let's change the low. Oops, let's change, ah, come on, let me, let's get this, no, that's not, oh, this wheel, I'm going the wrong way, okay, go there, and uh, we can, this little button here uh, puts in the middle of the screen the frequency you have chosen, so I can click on that, boom, it's in the middle, uh, we're getting, a lot of noise with this setup. I guess I don't have the filtering on. Uh, but we get also we get a larger bandwidth. Let's see what my zoom is. I'm almost maxed out. Let me go ahead and max out. There's my max zoom, which is right now like 8 megahertz to 12 megahertz. But look at all the signals. I mean, let's go to a different frequency. <laughs> let's go to 5 megahertz. So I do it this way. It might, probably not the best way. That's yeah, still a lot of noise there. Um, I don't know what. See, F, medium wave, an FM notch off. I'll turn that on. Yeah, that didn't help much. Uh, up, up, uh, it's the IFA game. I think I need to turn the gain down some. Okay, that's a lot better. Now we need to change. 
uh, the low to pull it back up on screen. Now you can kind of see the bandwidth of the receiver, the SDR. See it rolls off here. And I'm hearing 5 megahertz pretty good. WWV. I don't know. Let me mute this. I don't know because I haven't looked. Again, I'm kind of getting reorganized. I haven't looked at the solar flux index and the noise levels. Let me see if I can do that real quick. See what we're dealing with. I can find it. Oh boy. Uh, do, 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 do. This one. This is one. Uh, oh, there's the problem. The A index is a 12. Whoa. Lots of noise. So that's what I'm seeing. All that noise. Um, that needs to be down to less than four or five. K index is okay, 1.67. So, and look at the current sunspots, 113. That's probably causing all that RF noise. So that's the problem, and that's probably why uh, the Texan PL320 I tested the other day, why it was having trouble receiving stations because of the noise level. And this, that's one thing I like uh, about SDRs. It, it visually shows you what's out there as far as uh, RF. And uh, we've got lots of noise. I mean, if I was to uh, expand this, you could see all this noise here with a few signals that are nice and strong. Uh, these are probably stations from Cuba, South Florida, or South America that are close to me within 800 miles. Uh, actually, some within 300 miles. So that's probably the strong stations here. Well, I'm sure that it is. Uh, matter of fact, if we selected, very familiar one is six right about there. Uh, I'm a little bit off, so let's go, let's see, let's go down one at least. Then you can slide down here, whoops, I went too far. Oh, now I've lost it, oh gee whiz, how did I do that? If I hit this, will it come back? No, what did I do? Oh, I messed up. It's not tracking it anymore. Six, come on, six. If I choose another frequency, it'll sync. Uh, five, eight, four, five. Let's go down to four, five. There we go. So, uh, again, you know, I've, I've got several hundred regular standard radios, um, standalone radios, but I've really migrated over to the SDR to give me this visual view at what's going on and what's going on around the frequencies, you know, this broad band here of things that are around. And this uh, this is SDR console, of course, and this nice database. So it tells me right there on the screen what possible frequencies or stations are on this frequency. So that's it. I just kind of want to try to catch up. I need to do some more work using these programs because I've really forgotten. Oh, he even said, oh, that's neat. Signal overload. Well, I can believe that. I'm already cranking it pretty hard. So I could change the RF gain. And we got a 20. We could go down to 15. And that should get down below that signal overload. Plus, it's not enhancing all that noise. 
So anyway, and this is um, SDR console version 3.2. I think it's the latest release. Uh, I think there is an option to check for updates, which I'll do. It's been a while since I installed this. And this, this, I, I think this is, this is my, it's, a, it's in a tie with SDR Uno as far as software for SDRs. Let me see, where is it? Release. Uh, 3.2, yep, that, I have the latest release, September 18th. Okay, well, I've got the latest release. So I really need to get organized again uh, with this computer that's down in my uh, shack in my workshop. Um, I still got to get rid of a couple of computers that somebody gave me, old computers. They wanted to make sure that I cleaned off all their data and actually one of them that wasn't working, I just took the hard drive out and destroyed it. That was the easiest thing since it's quite old. Anyway. Uh, if you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. If you want me to try some other things like this, please let me know in the comments. And I want you to have a great day. Bye-bye.